whenever I get minimize the maximum or maximize the minimum, these type of questions, I simply uh, execute binary search algorithm. So let us just solve the question by using binary search as it says minimize the max, right? Now let us read the description first. You are given an indexed, zero indexed integer array nums and an integer p. Find p pairs of indices of nums such that the maximum difference amongst all the pairs is minimized. Minimize. Now, what are the saying is we are given with nums array and an integer p. Now, we need to get p pairs 1, 2, something like this 1, 2, and then 3, and then something like here that can be any indices and total number of pairs should be p. So, we need to select these p pairs such that the difference should be the maximum difference of all the pairs. Maximum difference of all pairs, all pairs should be, should be minimized. Now, let us just do a brute force on example 1. But before that, let me just see what does this difference mean. Note that for a pair of elements at index i and j, the difference of this pair is mod nums i minus nums j. That means absolute difference of nums i and nums j, where mod x represents the absolute value of x. Return the minimum maximum difference amongst all p pairs. We define the maximum of an empty set to be 0. Now, my intuition is first, let us see how does a brute force looks like. Now, I am just giving the indices 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now, with 0, index 0, I can get how many pairs? 5 pairs. Now, let us write it. 10, 1, 10, 2, 10, 7, 10, 1 again, 10, 3. Now, this pair is giving me 9, 8, 3, and then 9, and then 7, right? Now, with 1. 1 and 10 is already taken, right? Now I'll do 1 and 2, 1 and 7 like this, right? Now, there is another thing that if I take 10 and 1, I can't take 1 again. So there is some conflict here. So what we'll do is for this 10 and 1, what will be the other things? 1 comma 2 which gives me 1 and if I take 1 comma 2, it, uh, I can't take 2 and 7 again. So 7 and 1 which gives me 6. But I say that all these things are not required. This might be taking another, uh, uh, other things, right? A more time complexity. I'll tell you what is a simple thing. We need the minimize, right? Minimize, that means minimum. Minimize the maximum difference, right? Maximum difference should be minimized. Now, what I'll do is write it in sorted order. Double one, two, three, seven, ten. Now, one, one is giving me a difference of zero. One, two, I can't take it. Why? Why? Because one and one is a pair and one and two cannot make another pair. So, another pair can be 2 comma 3. So, let me take this with the difference of 1. Now, I have took the first two pairs. That's it. And the minimize the maximum. The maximum from all these pairs difference is 1. I'll return 1 at the end. So, this is about example 1. Now, let us go to example 2. And let me give the indices 0, 1, 2, 3. Do the same thing. 1, 2, 2, 4. Here, our algorithm might fail. Let us see. I said before, I took the first two elements and got the difference as 1, right? And if I return 1, then it might be the wrong answer. Why? Because if you took 2, comma 2, this gives you a difference of 0, which is minimized which is much minimum, right, than 1. So, I need minimum by taking, by taking 
all the all the pairs so i need i need the pairs pairs which gives which gives minimum difference difference right but what is the minimum difference and the maximum difference that i can get in this array right so i am just copying it and wait a second second right so what is the minimum difference here so let me write that first thing 1 1 2 3 7 10 so here the minimum difference will be 1 minus 1 right you might think like that but this will not be the minimum distance. I'll tell you why. Difference, right? Why? Because if I took the same thing like 1 and 2 difference is giving me 1. So, the minimum difference is 1. I am just wrong at the time. So, the minimum distance can be 0, 2. So, what I'll do is the minimum difference. Minimum difference that I can get is 0. Now, what will be? The maximum difference the maximum difference will be the last element in the sorted array and the first element which gives me what sorry 10 minus 1 is 9 now instead of writing this uh, maximum difference and minimum difference let me write it as low and high right so my difference will be here by taking p elements right p pairs right so somewhere in between these or including low or it might be high also there might be here or here or anything else one it might be five or it might be seven anything else but it might lie in between and for seven if i got if i got right in this array in seven if i got number of pairs number of pairs with difference difference of 7 or i will get a count right count what does this represent number of pairs with difference of less than or equal to 7 with less or equal to 7 it not be equal to only equal to 7 why because we will be counting the pairs with the difference of 7 and also with the difference of 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now, this count, if this count is greater than or equal to P, that means if it is greater, right, I got the count which needs, uh, which is having more number of, uh, I got the difference which is having the count, number of pairs which are greater than or equal to the p that i required i got greater now what i'll do i got greater now what i'll do i try to minimize this difference that means i go and search here in this so that i would get my answer now i got this equal to, so what i'll do is just update my answer is equal to difference now i have this high high will be equal to difference minus 1. Now, I'll be writing something like here, I'll be having low and I'll be having high. Here, it will be my difference. Now, this difference got some count, count of pairs with the difference of DIWF, with the difference of DIWF. Instead, you can also write it as mid count is the number of pairs with the difference of less than or is equal to mid now if this count if this count is greater than or is equal to p more than required we only required p so what i'll do i'll just just reduce my mid value that means i will be going here and check whether can i get p count or not now as I have equal to, I am just writing a standard binary search on answers algorithm, right? Answer will be updated to difference. I am just taking it as 
t i double f as a variable name now hi will be equal to mid minus 1 so if this is the condition i'll be doing this else what i'll do is low is equal to mid plus 1 now let us just write the standard binary search on answers all with them so i got this first thing first thing i got low is equal to 0 and high is equal to uh, nums of n minus 1 minus nums of 0 as i said high is equal to the last element minus the first element y low is less than or equal to high i got difference is equal to difference is equal to uh, this is nothing but mid low plus high minus low by by 2 now after this i'll get account right here i will get account by get count function where i'll send this nums which is already sorted and now nums and i will read uh, i'll also send this difference now after this i'll just return the answer now let us see how does this get count will be get count will be having vector of int nums and also i'll be having difference right now i'll do i is equal to 0 and is equal to nums dot size right while i is less than n if nums sorry it is not n it will be n minus 1 i'll tell you why now nums of i plus 1 minus nums of i is less than or is equal to difference what i'll do is just increment my count i'll just increment uh, just uh, initialize count is equal to zero so count plus plus and what i'll do is i plus plus here now if not i'll also do i plus plus why why because if i have something like zero five four three eight two now if if my i is here i am checking i plus one and i the difference of these two right so it might be lesser than or equal to different so after this i am skipping these two so once the i will be incremented in this condition if condition it will be incremented here and after that i it will be again incremented here then it will go uh, again incremented here and it will go here right so this is how you write the algorithm and i have given the code link in the description right so let me just run this uh, uh, code right now so if you like this video do share it to your friends and do subscribe to my channel and if you have any doubts please comment in the comment section thank you